What's good peeps, it's your boy Eduard Toda, back at you with another reaction video. This time, Eric Jones, one of the people that I was actually looking up to when I was first starting out, uh, trying to find my niche in magic, and I uh, had a phase where I was trying to learn how to do coin magic. Okay, all these different coins. And I was trying to learn how to, you know, vanish stuff, but I ended up not, not uh, going for it, and I just ended up doing card magic instead, almost exclusively, and a bit of mentalism, so. Um, but I still really enjoy this dude. I really, really like his stuff. So let's see how he did on Fool Us. I haven't seen this yet, so it should be really fun. Now, if I look like I'm about to fall asleep, it's because uh, I didn't sleep much last night, and I just got back from training. I tried to film this video before training, but I ended up not having enough time, so I only got the first magic part, which is good, because my hands are shaky, uh, and... You know, I'm super tired right now, but we're gonna do this anyway. Uh, committed, let's go straight into the reaction. This next magician is known for his close-up magic with coins. I met him earlier today, I couldn't make heads or tails of him. Let's see if you can. Please welcome Mr. Eric Jones. Uh, he's like one of the highest level people I've seen with coins, so let's, let's see how he does. something that's very dear to my heart. The problem with this illusion that you're going to see is that it's designed for just a few people. And since there are so many of you, I'd like to get a couple of volunteers to come up stage to keep me honest, to make sure what everyone else is about to see looks fair. Now, here's the thing, guys. If I choose you, you might think that we have something worked out. So if you don't mind, Penn, hmm. would you mind just choosing, choosing oh, sure. a couple of people at oh, random? Boy. Oh, boy. Who have I got that is a big guy with both hands up? Get on yeah. up here. One more. Are you waving to me behind the camera? Get on up! Give these guys Get a round of applause seat. as they make their way up. That would be fun, guys, being that so spectator. Me. My name's Eric, your name is? Kent. Kent yes. and? Molly Ann. Molly Ann. Yes. Now, what I want you guys to do is pay very close attention to everything you're about to see. I'm going to use a little bit of imagination. Ooh. Awesome. Isn't that kind of crazy? Now, here's the interesting thing. This is kind of like a, a magic marker. It's actually where I keep my money. You know, in Vegas, you've got to be safe, right? Okay, right. All you have to do is watch, and you see a couple little coins. These are four solid silver American half dollars from the turn of the last century. You guys can examine them. Make sure they are exactly what they seem to be. Yeah? Everything look good? Looks good to me. You guys will be the eyes and the ears of the audience. It'll be your job, Kent, to make sure nothing goes up the sleeve. It'll be your job to make sure nothing goes up the sleeve. Watch everything you can <coughs> as close as possible. First, let me ask, can you see all four coins? I yet? see all four. And you can see all four? Yes, sir. Make sure the camera can as well. Watch close. <laughs> oh. Yo. That's the first one. That ring, though. That, nice. nice. that yeah, ring helps know, with the click. Thinking, Ooh, that's sense. nice. You're saying, eh, it's just some of that sleight of hand crap. Mm. There could be some truth to that. However, the entire dynamic changes when the magic comes out of my hands and into someone else's. Yeah. Are you willing to help? Sure. Let me ask you, are you left or right-handed? I'm right-handed. Would you mind opening your right hand, place it right above the table? I'm going to get you to leave those three coins right about there. So you've got three, I've got one. If you could, take your other hand and cover the coins, creating like a cave so you can see all three inside. Okay. Yeah? Like Perfect. That. And there's mine. In a moment, I'm going to have you shake your three coins. I'm going to shake mine. You guys will actually hear the moment the magic happens. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, and three. Shake the coins and listen to the sound the silver makes, Kent. Not in your hands. But in mind, Yo. if you could dump the contents onto the table, show them what you've got. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Now I know what you might be thinking. And yes, it is a black thing, you'll never understand it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but would you like to give this a try? I would love to. Excellent. Are you left or right hand? Let's do the right. Let's do the right. Yeah. Excellent. If you don't mind showing the palm of your right hand to your audience, allow your middle finger and thumb to slowly come together. Turn the hand at the wrist and then bring it above the table. Perfect. Then if you could turn your left hand palm up and place it about six to eight inches under the right. <laughs> Thank you, Now, guys, you'll notice how I'm holding on to these two coins by their <laughs> edges. That way I can't manipulate the coins in any way. If you don't mind opening your middle finger and thumb of your right hand. 
Excellent. And grab these two coins by their edges, just like this. Okay. Excellent. Now, can everyone see her too? Yeah? And mine? In a moment, I'm going to have you drop these two coins onto the palm of your hand. It's important that you catch the coins. Okay. Make sure they don't hit the table or the floor. I'll do the same with my two. One coin will become invisible, travel across the table to arrive inside of my hand. Does that sound like a friggin' miracle or what? <laughs> Yo. Right? It's gonna happen after three, meaning one, two, three, Geronimo, okay? Hey, okay, one, two, three, drop. One, two, three. <sighs> if you could, slowly bring your hand towards the center of the table, and one finger at a time, dump the contents on and show them what you've got. Whoa! She's got one hey, coin. <laughs> you see, the thing about this is it means absolutely nothing unless, unless there's one, two, and three coins here. High five. Yo. <laughs> one coin left to go. Now, guys, up until this point, I've tried to move as slowly as I possibly could to keep everything fair. But I want to make a pact with you guys. If at any point, anyone, including you guys, sees anything that looks tricky or suspicious, yes. be a jerk. Look me right in the eye and say, Eric, slow the hell down. <laughs> Can we agree to that? Yes. Four coins. Kent, if you don't mind, just open your hand one more time for me, bro. Can you see all four coins? Yes, I do. Please, show your left hand empty. And then if you could gather the coins on the palm of your hand like a stack of poker chips and then show your left hand empty again. If you could then, sir, use just your middle finger and thumb, grab that top coin, place it onto the palm of my hand. That's a lot of instructions, isn't it? And close your hand around the rest of them. And then I'm gonna bring your hand to right about here, but squeeze tight, don't let me in no matter what I try. Oh. And I might, all right? <laughs> the last one, the last oh, one. Okay. All you have to do is watch. Kent, if you don't mind, <clears throat> slowly turn the hand like so and allow the contents to fall from the hand. That's one, two, three, wow, four. Wow, man. Give these guys a round of applause. Thank, thank you so much. Sir. Be careful on your way back to your seat. Eric Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Eric Fabulous. Mind blowing. Thank Such you. a great show. When did you start doing this? Because I know this is the kind of illusion, this is the kind of magic that takes real dedication to the craft. So how old were you? Um, I, I started magic when I was 19, but, but this particular illusion I've been working on for about eight years now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. wow. And you know what? I thought it was incredible. I know the audience. You loved this performance, didn't you? Whew. So either way it goes, you've made a lot of new fans right here. Okay, Ken, tell up. Boy. I love the close-up finger-flinging stuff. I really love it. We have seen this kind of stuff done uh, using the method we think you used a bunch of times, but not in spectators' hands. And using what you're using takes such incredible skill and handling of the audience members. And I must say, gonads the size of South American cities. <laughs> But do you like pets? I love pets. Do you like cats? I do love cats. Do you cats. like dogs? I do. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> but my children really wanted to have pets. So you know what we got? We got a turtle. We actually mm. got 12 turtles that live in a little pond out back. Ken, and those I'm sorry, turtles. Can we please get back to magic? Because uh, it's lovely hearing about your home life, but yeah, no one yeah. knows what the hell you're talking about right now. Well, I think Eric does. I love turtles too. Uh, there was one turtle that we could have used here tonight, yep. but only for one aspect of the entire routine. Right. I will just say this. There are certain turtles that are very, very rare and valuable. And if I had those turtles with their quality, I might keep them safe from other people. I might lock them up. No. No, you'd leave that turtle just out there wild. What a one way we took it. <laughs> That's the funniest code, code messaging I've ever heard in my life. Examinable. Yes. Does that mean ungimmicked? It does not. It does not. It becomes a judgment call for the booth, I believe. Johnny knows how the trick is done. Johnny knows what we've Wow. Via my earpiece, I'm hearing from Johnny right now, and he's asked me to say, and it kind of breaks my heart, because we're going back to turtles, I'm warning you now. 
He said, the turtle, whatever the hell that is, was only used at the end of the act. Right. And he does not believe you have successfully identified how the remainder part of the act is. So that means Eric Jones has Wow. Yo, he didn't get the turtles. He did not get the turtles. Eric Jones, you animal, dude. Oh, I love that. I love how they talked in code into that whole turtle thing. If you're a magician, you know what they're talking about. Now, I have no clue how he did it. Um, I know what they were talking about, but, you know, obviously they got fooled, so I got fooled. But, man, was that an awesome, awesome performance, you know? I mean, there was heavy sleight of hand involved. There, as, as they were saying, that whole, the whole routine takes balls. Um, I, I really love the way he performs, the eloquent, classy, you know what I mean? Like, he's one of the few guys, in my opinion, that he can act, that can actually pull off the, the suited, classy magician guy that takes everything really seriously. I think he pulls it off really well, like, you know, it's part, it's actually who he is. Um, for me, you know, I'd have to, whenever I perform, I have to joke around, I have to be that guy that just, like, is never serious, you know what I mean? If I take it too serious, it just doesn't suit me. But he, he... I really love the way he performs. Um, his sleight of hand is, is, oh. I actually got some of his DVDs when I was starting out and I tried to learn a few things and I mean, I got through a little part of them, but man, this guy knows a lot of shit. He knows, he's high level. There's not a lot of high level coin magicians that not, like that you find. You know, that you find a lot of high level card magicians. You have to find a lot of high level mentalists, but high level dudes that like specialize in coins. It's actually not that common. So it's awesome to see him um, you know, I, I absolutely love watching him. Hope you guys enjoyed him. He's one of the magicians I enjoy to watch. So um, let me know what you thought about him. So that was about it for this one. Now instead of telling me what to react to, since I have such a long list of, of reaction videos to go through, let me know what other types of content you want to see from me. Um, I did some of, you know, that Q&A and I did the vlog and a lot of you guys enjoyed the vlog. Like, I've actually had friends in real life hit me up and were like, man, that vlog was fun. You need to do more vlogs. So I think I might have to do more vlogs. But let me know what type of content you want to see. You know, I, I'm down to do almost whatever. Like, I actually was thinking of doing a uh, try not to laugh challenge. I mean, I know they're stupid, but I, I think they might be fun to do. I don't know. You guys tell me. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Man, respect, much love. Stay lit. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.